Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create and use internal load balancer app service environment. In the previous video we saw what is a app service environment, how to create an external app service environment. In this video we will see how to create and use an internal load balancer app service environment. So the Azure app service environment is a, is a deployment of Azure app service into a subnet, into an Azure virtual network. So in the previous video, we deployed an external ASC with a virtual IP on an external IP address. Now we will use uh, with a virtual IP on an internal IP address, which is also known as ILB ASC. So we can deploy an ASC with an internet accessible endpoint or with an IP address in the subnet. To cite the IP address to a VNet address, the ASC must be deployed within an ILB. When we deploy the ASC with an ILB, we must provide the name of the ASC. The name of the ASC is used in the domain suffix for the apps in the ASC. The domain suffix for the ILB ASC would be the name of the ASC that will give .app service environment.net. And apps that are made in an ILB ASC are not put in the public DNS. So we'll let us quickly go ahead and create an ILB, ILB ASC. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal. Let me switch to my directory under which I have subscription. Okay, now to create an ILB ASC, I'm gonna click on create a resource. And I'm gonna go and find app service environment here it will come up over and will be an option to click on create and i have a pay as you go subscription i'm going to create a new resource group and i'm going to test Okay, test user AAC RSG, and now I'm going to give test user AAC ILB. This is the internal. The endpoint is an internal load balancer ILB AAC. OS support you can go with Windows or anything you want. I'm going to click on uh, networking it will ask me to create a virtual network if you have a virtual network you can do it like if you go to previous you don't so if you already had a virtual network in this resource group then you can select it so i'm going to click on create new i'm going to create a virtual network vnet test us our ASC VNet the virtual network address that I've got I'm gonna go with East US region you will create a subnet here you can select or create an empty subnet if you want to select a subnet it must be empty and not delegated the, sub the subnet size cannot be changed after the ASC is created so Microsoft recommend a size of slash 24 which has 256 addresses and can handle a maximum sized ASC and any scaling needs. So you can type in uh, subnet. You can type in 192.6. Oh, I'm sorry, 250.0. Okay. As your DNS private zone, if you want to select, or uh, I will provide my own custom DNS solution, or you can use this. Create and link my AC to an Azure DNS private zone. So when you create an Azure pri private DNS zone, you can check out my videos regarding the Azure DNS. Let me give a click on next. I am skipping the tax part now. It's gonna validate the options that we have filled. 
and it will give us an option to click on create. So it's initializing the deployment. It would submit the deployment. You can click on here and you can check the progress of your deployment. Deployment is in progress. So I will pause the video and come back as soon as it, the deployment is completed. And this is how you create one. And uh, so if you talk about uh, web jobs functions and the ILB AAC, both functions and web jobs are supported on an ILB AAC. But for the portal to work with them, you must have network access to the SCM site. This means your browser must either be on a host that is either in or connected to the virtual network. If your ILB AAC has a domain name that does not end in appserviceenvironment.net, you will need to get your browser to trust the HTTPS certificate being used by your SCM site. And if you talk about the private DNS domain, so I do not have any apps or app service plans in this IAC and it's still in the provisioning state and you can use it as well. So in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share a detailed uh, video how to use an app service environment like how the scaling would work, how the IP addresses to locate, front-end scaling, app access, publishing, storage, logging, your upgrade preferences, pricing and how to delete one. And also, I'll also share the command line to create an app service environment using CLI. So I hope you liked this video. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.